A lot of secrets hide within the SCP Foundation, from messages typed into a keyboard to signs of a ghost haunting SCP-1576. We will be exploring 20 easter eggs in SCP Secret Laboratory you didn't know about. If we take a trip inside the facility, I'm sure you've seen the office spaces before. Whether it be the spaces in entrance, the PC room in light, or the test chambers in heavy, a computer resides almost around every corner. But the computer is not the main focus here. Taking a glance at the keyboard and the greasy smudges, we can see a popular term typed into the keyboard. SCP. A simple nod at what the game revolves around. Traveling down to light, we will take a glance at the popular room, TC01. This room also contains a computer, but we've already talked about the keyboard, so what's so special about this computer? Well, taking a look behind it, there is a barcode still stuck on the back. Text can be found on the barcode stating, this model is speedrun at any percent. Please don't complain, otherwise I might become locked in Hubert's basement. Now interestingly enough, this can actually also be found on the computer in SCP-939's old containment room, just in a different color. Staying in SCP-330's test chamber, we examine the bull. While nothing much of interest can be seen on the outside, it's what's on the inside that counts. And what's on the inside is a whole load of candy. Deep within the candy bowl, we can observe one singular piece of pink candy buried within, hinting towards its existence within the game. This reminds me of the Halloween version, where the same thing can be said, but with the much rarer candy, Evil Candy. A singular piece of red candy corn buried within the bowl can be spotted, hinting towards its existence within the game. Taking a trip to Heavy, we can explore what I would love to consider a genius design choice. In SCP-939's room, there are multiple vials and glass containers lying about. While not looking too special, shining a light on such reveals something hidden. Shining a light on the vials reveals leftover residue from past liquids as well as fingerprints. Shining a light on the sink reveals leftover residue from poured out liquids and substances. Lastly, shining a light on any glass surfaces shows smudges and smears from use and contact. Hats off to whoever thought of this, it really adds a level of depth to the game. Going down to light, we will explore another design choice that is quite interesting, but when observed in a different lens can be quite unsettling. The airlocks are interesting rooms, two of which always spawn within light. The environment is very red, which can be assumed due to the red lights. However, turning the lights to the natural color that resides in the facility reveals that all the metal plates along the walls have a red color to create a better atmosphere. Pretty cool design choice, although seeing the airlock in natural lighting disturbs me. Looking within all the medical items, the painkillers no doubt have the most text upon them. A small disclaimer can be viewed on the side of the pill, reading, It doesn't matter what I write here. It's going to be too small to read anyway. Purple Goop signing out. Taking a look at another item, the radio, it looks very natural at first glance. Placing it on its back on any surface, however, two messages are revealed, both along the same lines. On a sticky note, the message, for Redacted's sake, please do not recharge using 914. Another message carved into the radio states, Please don't use in 914. Luckily, for whoever wrote the note, most people don't even hold on to their radios anyway, so they probably don't have much to worry about. Up on surface, lots can be discovered. If we take a look at the tutorial tower that is home to the tutorial roll, we can see this desk in the corner. 
Looking closer, in the crevice, however, a stone head can be seen. I honestly wonder what the thoughts behind this were. Staying on the surface, there is a mystery to be spotted. This mystery is going to require no clip. By flying underneath a tower on surface and glancing upward, you are greeted by darkness. Bring a light, however, and it is a different story. Underneath the tutorial tower, you can see security breach textures. These can be viewed with the towers near gate A and the towers at the escape, which appear to have different textures beneath them. How fascinating. Going back to examining some items, if we take a look at SCP-207 and SCP-207 question mark, there is a major difference. This difference is the fact that SCP-207 contains a dark brown fluid, while the reverse cola is a hot pink. But what if there's a way to get rid of this difference? Well, there is. Bringing a trusty light source into the equation, an SCP-207 and reverse cola's fluids both become a dark brown, resembling SCP-207's fluid. Keeping our eyes on SCP-207, we can find out where it was manufactured. Taking a look at the cap of SCP-207, on the side we can read Alaska. Definitely an extra step to create more depth into the game, but that's not the only thing that shows where it was manufactured. When holding the shotgun as a chaos insurgency and inspecting it, holding T, we can see a glimpse of where it was made. France. <laughs> Did you think I was done? Of course not. When taking a look at the revolver, we can see on the side USA. Looks like the Chaos Insurgency pools their weapons from a wide variety of sources to get the best quality weaponry. Sadly, this is the last easter egg I have of any item showcasing where it was manufactured. SCP-1853, their performance enhancer, appears to be put in a container created by the SCP Foundation itself. Not only do I think this because of the intricate design, but also because of the sneaked-in symbol of the SCP Foundation. The next thing is something you probably overlooked, and shame on you for doing so. By not seeing this next easter egg, you have caused the SCP Foundation quite a hassle. If you look at the computer by the 3x3 armories, a little sticky note is placed on them, stating, please leave all lockers closed. While I know this isn't really hidden, from enough game knowledge and experiences, I know many of you didn't know of this sticky note's existence, and I know many of you watching are guilty by not following this request. Something that has always been in front of your face, but you have probably never realized, is another genius design choice. Taking a look at all the cards in the game, one of them contrasts against all the others. The Chaos Insurgency keycard. This wasn't created by the SCP Foundation, and something to make it contrast even more from the rest to show its individuality is the direction the Chaos Insurgency keycard faces. The keycard faces the opposite direction of which all SCP Foundation keycards face. What a very interesting detail that some of us just overlooked. Something I found so interesting about SCP Secret Laboratory is that every gun has a visual to show they are unloaded. This might not sound too crazy at first, but there are two guns where the 3D modelers got a little creative. First is the shotgun which doesn't have a magazine where you can visually see. This is where these three tiny holes in the side of the shotgun come in. When unloaded, these holes are empty and just showcase the darkness of the gun. When loaded, however, these holes are red. These show the shotgun shells, letting you see if the gun has ammunition or not. Looking at the COM-15, the COM-15 has the traditional viewing of a no magazine inside the gun. But something I think a lot of people have overlooked is the loaded one up on the COM-15. 
This is indeed loaded when up and down when not. And lastly, what you've all been waiting for, the thumbnail. The ghost face on the gramophone. It's real. I initially thought that this was just a lucky circumstance. As I moved it slightly, and I didn't see it anymore. But after multiple tests and putting it in multiple different rooms, I can confirm that this is indeed intentionally put. Really, really incredible thinking. I love it. And yeah, that concludes the video. I hope you had fun and have a nice day.